Well, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carrie, and today's video is going to be another trying on different sizes video. If you guys haven't seen one of these videos before, I basically go into different stores and try on all different sizes and go through all of like the weirdness and the embarrassment for you so you don't have to do it. And this is basically just a really fun way to express body positivity. It can be a really traumatic experience. Truck, I'm trying to speak. It can be a traumatic experience trying on clothes as a woman. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I'll have all of those linked down below. You can check out all of those and see all of the different places I've gone before this, but a ton of you have been requesting that I check out Urban Outfitters and see what sizes they have to offer. Just please keep in mind that size has absolutely nothing to do with anything. It doesn't matter. It's not about the number that's inside your jeans. It's just about what's comfortable and what fits. So I am hopefully in me sharing these vulnerable experiences with you, empowering you to walk into any fitting room and feel empowered and beautiful at any size. So I am in Scottsdale right now. I'm about to walk into Urban Outfitters. I'm already out of breath. So let's see how this goes. Okay, that was literally the coolest thing ever. Right when I walked in, the girl that worked here, her name's Callie. Callie, if you're watching this, hello. That was so cool. She was like, wait, this is gonna sound really weird, but are you Carrie? Do you have a YouTube channel? I was like, yeah. She was like, I just shot one of your Goodwill videos to my friend. That was so cool. So anyways, made a new friend. I was like, I would hug you, but I'm profusely sweaty right now, so I'm gonna hug her on the way out. But that's just so cool. I love seeing you guys, so if you ever see me, come say hi. Okay, now to look for clothes. I'm in the men's section, as usual. What's new? I've got a few things so far and I've also got a few things in a fitting room waiting for me already but a lot of you guys have said to try the BDG brand that they have at Urban Outfitters. I think that's like their exclusive brand. I'm not 100% sure but they carry it here a lot. I remember that from like throughout the year so I am gonna get a few BDG things to try on as well as some other mixed brands so we'll see. Who else wants to literally just model their entire house off of an Urban Outfitters? Cause I know when I do this room. Yes please. wanted to try these jeans on but unfortunately the biggest size they go up to is 30 and I'm more like a 31 or a 32 so that's just something to note and that's kind of a bummer but I did see these ones online so I think I might try out a few of these sizes as well it doesn't matter where I go in what fitting room it's always a concert <laughs> except the American Eagle one so we're just gonna have to deal with it so this is the overview of what I have so far I have some mom jeans here I have a black skirt I have some black mom jean shorts I have some Levi shorts these are the 501s the popular ones I think those are like more of a low rise but I'm still gonna try them on I found a couple of extra items that I'm going to try on at the end I also found some BDG like really wide leg pants in a 32. I found just a regular skinny stretch jean that's also in a 32. I don't really know my size, so I'm just gonna try it. I found some black high-rise mom jeans from BDG as well. And then last but not least, I found these fancy puppies. So we will see how this goes. Let's start with the first pair. I don't really know where to begin. I'm just gonna pull the first pair I see, which is these buttless, I always call these buttless jeans. And they're size 32, so here we go. Let the sweating begin. Big for me, but these 
I'm so confused. The tag on the inside literally says 32. Okay, well these aren't working, so hopefully the next pair will fit. I can barely get these on. <laughs> that pair of jeans for not fitting me. I'm really hoping we have better luck with these other ones because 32 is the biggest size that I saw here in store. You are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. Next, let's try the skinny stretch and hopefully the stretch will save me this time. These are also in 32. $70, but I want them so bad. <laughs> I have a feeling like if I sit down, this is gonna rip though, like over time. <gasps> All right, let's move on to the next one. I'm depressed. I'm really nervous about these. I don't even think they're gonna fit, but I'm just gonna get it over with. Let's just do it, own it, and let's move on. Yeah, this is about, <laughs> about what I thought. This is as far as I got. They're not gonna button. I'm genuinely so confused because you guys have seen me try on sizes that are exactly like this. If someone knows if there's like a difference or something like that, will you please let me know? Because I'm like genuinely so confused right now. Sorry to disappoint, but I am not even gonna try these on. These look super tiny and I'm just not gonna put myself through that. So we're gonna move on to the last two things and then I'm gonna be done. <laughs> we're gonna go with this little black denim skirt. Size large. Urban, 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 urban. Why do they make their sizes so small? I'm zipping this up like, ooh. Like, does this zip and look okay? Yeah, but then look underneath. <laughs> like, I'm busting out of this thing. It looks cute from afar, but it hurts. I just don't get it. Like, it looks cute, but. Do the mom shorts. Don't let me down, mom jeans. Last but definitely not least. Thank God. <laughs> Super cute. They're just not my, like the roll ups in black aren't my favorite. But as far as fit goes, definitely good. Also, I think I just got a splinter in my foot, so. <laughs> These are cute, but I could easily go to Goodwill and buy a pair of like men's jeans and cut them and roll them. And I could pay like $10, whereas these are $49. So, no thank you. Okay, you guys, I just left Urban Outfitters. I'm getting ready to walk into the parking garage and then my lighting's gonna go. So I figured I would just give you a little synopsis here. I am not gonna lie to you. I'm having like a little bit of hard time. It was really weird. It's not a good feeling to walk into a store and feel like you're too big for 98% of the clothes that are there. And I had a couple of extra bonus items set aside that I wanted to try on, but I ended up just not even doing that because I was just like, I just kind of want to leave. <laughs> All the employees that worked there were so nice. Obviously it's not their fault. Just the company itself needs to be a little more inclusive with their sizing. I really thought that I was going to be able to find stuff that fit me there because I do own Urban Outfitters clothes. I have a pair of shorts that fits me really well, but I was truly shocked that like the biggest size like didn't even fit me. So it just makes me think about how if someone was a bit bigger, how they would feel walking into that store and like not having sizes that fit them. So that's just something to think about if you're thinking about shopping there. I still love Urban. I still buy home decor there all the time, but their sizing, man, they've like really got to step their game up. As you guys know, I really take it with a grain of salt. I'm not like going to let it ruin my day. I'm going to go home. I'm going to reward myself and still eat ice cream and still have a great time. It is something to think about if someone is a little bit more insecure about their body size and walking into a store that's supposed 
supposed to be like mainstream and like hip and trendy and like half the clothes don't even fit them. It's just really disappointing. It's just not an inclusive place to shop. So that's a huge bummer. I mean, I'm a size 31 in majority of other stores, but a 32 was like way too small for me in most things. It didn't go up any higher than that. So I'm kind of just stuck with that and that's the way it is. And like I said, I'm not gonna let it ruin my day or my life, but it's just something that I figured I would go ahead and share honestly with you and let you know. I didn't have the greatest experience. I did feel a little bit crappy about my body for a second there, but I'm gonna move past it and I'm gonna have a great day regardless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any requests of where you want me to try on sizes next, definitely let me know in the comments below. I have like a running list on my phone, but I'm always adding to it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.